Hi, my name is Jeff Challen. Welcome to CS125. In this brief screencast, I'm going to walk through the process of installing Java on your computer. This is the first step in setting up a development environment that you can use to complete the MPs for the class. So I'm going to walk through it on Windows first, and then I'm going to uh, switch to my Mac and show you how to do it there. The process is quite similar on, on both machines. So the course website is always a good starting point. I'm going to navigate over here to the MPs tab and then uh, set up instructions. Um, what you'll find here, if you scroll down to the install on Mac and Windows section, is that there's a web page maintained by Oracle that has the installers for the version of Java that we want you to use for the class. That version is Java 9. Sometimes it's also sort of confusingly called Java 1.9. Um, but if you follow the link on the web page, you will find yourself in the right place. So I'm here and I have access to the Windows installer. So uh, right. So if you get this message, you need to click this um, checkbox to indicate that you've accepted the license agreement. Now I'm going to download the Windows installer to my machine. That's going to take a couple of minutes. Once that completes, I'll be able to run that installer and install Java on my uh, Windows machine. So the process of installing this on Mac is quite similar. Um, and I will walk through that in a minute. Java is a powerful uh, programming language. Um, it's a great tool for building all sorts of different types of things, whether it's websites, Android applications, standalone servers, and other types of programs. So it's a fun language, and we think that you'll enjoy learning it. Uh, it's also a language that's heavily used in industry. Obviously, Google Android applications are still today almost entirely written in Java. The entire Android programming stack is written in Java. And we think that later in the semester, you may have a chance to experiment with uh, building some Android applications yourself. So this download is going slower than I would like. Uh, but once it completes, we'll run this installer. Um, since I'm waiting here, I'm going to go um, over here and start the install for my Mac. Um, that process, again, is very similar. I head over to the um, course website. I go use the link to take me to the Java install page. I accept the license agreement. And now here I'm going to download the version that's for Mac OS. So I'm going to start that process. Um, and probably while that's completing, uh, yeah, here we go. So my Windows installer is almost downloaded. Looks like it's finished now. Uh, it's probably going to verify or something. Let's see here. Okay, opening when complete. There we go. So once that downloads and I open it, I should get this pop-up from Windows that's asking me if I want to run the installer. I click yes. It's going to I'm running Windows here in a virtual machine on my Macintosh, so it's not always the world's fastest setup. Um, I think this hopefully will be done in a second. Here we go. Okay, so now it's uh, launching an installer. It's going to walk me through the process. The default settings here are totally fine. Um, so it's going to copy some files into place. And when this completes, I will have... Um, so you can make a decision here about why you want to enable Java in the browser. We don't need that. Um, obviously, Oracle's very proud of the fact that 3 billion devices run Java. I suspect that 2.9 billion of those are Android phones. So this is a language that if you learn, you can have considerable impact, uh, particularly through building and, de and deploying Android applications, uh, which can reach billions of people all over the world. Many of you probably have an Android phone that you use as your own personal communication device. All right, so while this is running, I'm going to switch over to my Mac here and um, get that installed going. So on Macintosh, this uh, downloads you know, uh, a similar executable installer file. I'm going to open it. Now on this machine, I already have Mac installed, so we'll see what happens if I try to run the installer again. Um, hit continue, install. I've got to authorize it, so I use my cool fingerprint sensor. Okay, so my Mac installer is running as well. Let me 
switch back to my Windows machine. Um, and it looks like that's done. Great. So at this point, I've got um, Java 9 installed in my on my Windows machine. So I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to leave this open for my next tutorial. I'm going to minimize my virtual machine. And then I'll come back here to the installer for um, Java on my Mac. And that also succeeded. Uh, and I can choose to throw out the installer. So that's it. Uh, pretty simple, very similar on, on both machines. Um, and that's what you need to do to get Java installed on your computer.